Um, I read in your bio you're playing 300 times a year. Yeah, well, mostly. I mean, we haven't been playing that much the last two years. It's been like 200, 250. St still a lot. Yeah, because we're starting to get paid more now. So the problem is there's not as many places that will pay you yeah. that much. <laughs> so you're getting paid. You're not uh, playing for the tips. Not anymore. No. Well, maybe on Monday. Yeah, yeah, Mondays. <laughs> and, and you're coming from? From Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. And, and you're, you're playing in the, in the whole of the states? or Yeah. Yeah, we don't play in Hawaii or Alaska, but everywhere else, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so far. Yeah. Um, the expectations are, are very high here. I, yeah. I, read, I read in your bio, you must be the new, yeah, Charlie Musselwhite or Lester Butler, they say. What's, what's, what's comparing? Always comparing. I do it yeah. myself. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're Jason Ritchie. You're not yeah. the new Musselwhite or the new uh, yeah, no. Lester Butler. Yeah, no, no, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm different than any harmonica player that's ever lived, you know, but so were they, so, you know. What's different? Yeah. Tell me. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I think I just want to play music, and I'm not so concerned with whether I play blues or not. Maybe sort of like Paul Butterfield, a little like that, but, but also I play more like a guitar player. Yeah. What's your influence? Um, Walter Trout, my guitar player, Sean Starsky, uh, Ronnie Earl, Johnny Winter. Um, uh, one harmonica player, uh, Pat Ramsey, from Johnny Winter's band uh, in the 70s. Yeah, one album. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Growing up with blues music? No, um, not really. I mean, well, maybe. I mean, I guess 14 years old was when I first got exposed to it through my mother, uh, Howlin' Wolf, Muddy Waters. And she took me to see James Cotton. And uh, I saw Muscle White when I was 14, 15. I've, I've seen Muscle White probably like 30, 40, 50 really? times. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, all those guys. Yeah, she, so she got me hooked up really young, yeah. And, and your age is now? I'm 35. 35, okay. Good, quite young for playing the blues, isn't it? Yeah, but when you've been doing it since you're 15, it feels yeah. old, yeah. But I don't care, but yeah, I want to stay young, yeah. We call it the Blues Festival. Is it what you play, blues, or...? I don't know. And, um, I mean, I do play blues, you know, absolutely. But what, I mean, it's hard to say because, I mean... It, most of the people that consider traditional blues traditional blues now, if they were alive in 1950, they wouldn't consider what was happening in 1950 traditional blues. I mean, all of the people that want to play just harmonica, just like Little Walter, if they were alive when Little Walter was alive, they would hate Little Walter. Yeah. And so, I mean, by that definition, I, you call it whatever you want to. I think you can certainly call it a blues influence music, but there's definitely tunes that I do that are absolutely 100% not blues. Yeah. What I sometimes hear from um, artists coming from the States is that there's a, a kind of thinking in the States into this is blues and this is not blues and yeah. it's, it's into... Yeah, and, and that's really ridiculous because the, the, the masters that they learned from, that they, you know, that Muddy Waters and Cotton and all those guys, they didn't have that thinking. I mean, and, I mean, Big Walter Horton covered La Cucaracha, for Christ's sakes, you know, and I mean, uh, you know, so the, these cats were like really open-minded, so that's just ridiculous. And I've, you know, I used to play with Junior Kimbrough and R.L. Burnside, so, and I've spent a lot of time in that culture, and there's none of that. Yeah, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Future on the stage for blues because sometimes we hear some some bad news like that. Um, I think there's a great future because, uh, like, we have a lot of young fans, and we get more and more, and a lot of times our fans tell us that they go home and they put the albums on, and their kids steal the record, and their kids are out there circulating it. And the other thing is, is that I'm seeing a lot more young players because of the internet, and, you know, I get free harmonica lessons on YouTube and stuff. Okay. And I'm meeting the kids that are that are coming from this. So, like, I'm definitely part of a paradigm shift. I'm, I'm really the very beginning of a really big paradigm shift where you're going to see more and more acts like this in the future oh, coming over here and playing in the States. So it's just changing, you know, and it, it has to change or it's going to die. 
Yeah. yeah, that's what I think as well. And it's changing because of the internet. What do you think about the internet? I think the internet plays a huge role in it. I think the other thing is, is it has to change or it will die. And and the kids, the kids are kids are open minded. I mean, something happens in the brain at a certain age, and it's a it's a fact. It's a it's and it, it's something that scares me too. For me, in in five years, and where we. We associate symbols to have strong meaning, and we don't like to see new symbols come along that are different, that that represent maybe the same thing but slightly differently. So that's the symbols are changing, you know, of what is and what isn't blues and yeah. So you're not thinking anymore in selling records. Oh no, I'm over that. Uh, yeah, I, actually, I've never thought that. Yeah, I've never made a record. <laughs> I've, ne I've never written a song that I thought. Just because somebody would like it, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I maybe, yeah. I'm kind of a rebel like that, but yeah. But I just don't care. I mean, I'm fucking poor anyway. You know what I mean? Why should I try to worry about? You know, no, but that's, yeah. that's one of the things I I think is changing. That uh, it used to be that artists artists were t thinking in selling records. Yeah, I have to play my music to sell my records. Mm -hmm. And, and, and selling is, is, is stopped because of the internet, so now you have to play your music to earn your, to earn your living. Yeah, exactly. And the other thing is that, you know, there's a lot of downloading going on too, which I'm all for, really. Because, I mean, as artists, we don't see very much money from the, the record companies. So the best thing that can happen is that people get the music. And if that happens illegally, and then they come to the shows and they either buy it from us in person or just see it, that's enough for me, yeah. One of the questions we always ask, and so do we ask it to you, did you have to pick cotton to play the music? Did I have to what? Did you have to pick cotton to play blues? Do I, did I have to what? To pick cotton. Oh, no. No, but I did have to sell my soul to the devil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's not, a, that's not a devil pentagram. Yeah, it would be like this. Yeah, if I were to wear it like that, but it's not. If we were to turn that one upside down, it would be, yeah. Okay. Jason, thank you for interviewing. Hey, my pleasure, guys. Thank well, you. I Great questions, yeah. Question, is it, uh, sorry, what are you playing on? A uh, honer or Well, I'm, uh, I'm really playing on a new her harmonica made by an American harmonica company called Harrison Harmonicas. Yeah, the first American harmonica company in 70 years. Um, everything's made 100% in the USA and uh, incredible. They're in the best, and they'll be out this August. Because yeah. Have the blues that's a choice between two brands. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got really fed up with those brands because they're they're not good enough, and I was doing a lot of work on them, trying to make them good enough, and then eventually, me and my friends got together and said, "God, if we can make them this much better, why not make it from scratch? You know, and see what we can do. You know. So yeah, they're incredible. HarrisonHarmonicas.com. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No harmonica bell for you. Oh yeah, it's, it's, there's, some, there's some in here right here. Those are, there's some honers in there. Here's the new Harrison harmonica. That's what's coming out. Yeah, very. This is actually a $40,000 harmonica. Because it's a prototype. Yeah, so was, you know, this was made on a stereo lithograph machine, a rapid prototyping machine, yeah. That's why it costs so much money, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, thanks, thanks a lot. Uh,